Hello, and welcome back to Star Trek Elite Force 2. Previously, um, we were in some archaeological ruins, and we're trying to find one of the missing dudes. Or some of the missing dudes, I've lost count. And, naturally, Munro got separated from the rest of the group, and had to find his own way. And I found myself getting killed over and over again by um, a gas trap. So... Off screen, I have done some exploring, and yeah, it turns out I was just being really stupid. Who knew, eh? Now, let's just find the right save game, because I got some feedback from Hazard Modding on YouTube, and it turns out you couldn't hear a bloody word I was saying, so uh, yeah, I've rebalanced the sound. Hopefully, it's a lot better now. Thank you for the feedback. It is most appreciated. Where the hell was I? That looks right. Yes. If I walk through this door and immediately die, we're in the right place. I don't feel... Yep, this sounds right. What does that mean? What? I'm not sure. I'm checking sensors now. Yeah, this is the wrong save. Yep, definitely the wrong place. I should already be dead. Little game. To be. That's where we were. More purple and grey and beige backgrounds. Is it 2C? Could be. I should probably look at the dates. That'd be helpful. Nope. This ain't it. Been here. Done this. Sorry, this is somewhat jarring, I imagine. This one. Maybe. I'm not sure. Very professional, this. Nope! I really should, like, call these name uh, saves things like, I don't know, Let's Play? Be useful. Is it this one? I've already tried this one. Right, I'm by myself. That's a good sign. Yep. Die, robot! Ow! Right, so here's me being really stupid. Once I go through that arch, there is no turning back and I have to solve the puzzle or I'll die. However, if I had enough health, like for example from one of these health terminals that I walked straight past, chances I could, could survive. Right, so we need a phaser ready. Nom 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 nom. Ooh, ammo. I'll have that too. Okie dokie. Yeah, I walked for like an hour in the wrong direction before I discovered this. Ow. Come on, do the thing. Ow. Ow. Right, opens the things. Seal them off. And they'll go pop when it's time. Stop opening your phaser, it's very stupid. There we go, done. Don't have to do them all. Just enough so that it goes pop. Hopefully not in my face. That one's not done yet. I do like this feature, because you get a lot of um, things in Star Trek solved by shooting them with phasers, but not necessarily blowing stuff up. I'm just sealing a vent. I feel like an engineer. This is what Chief O'Brien would be doing if he was here. Unless there was a Cardassian to be racist at. Sorry, what? There we go. Job done. Now, somebody's going to try and kill me, aren't they? That's how this always works. You escape the trap and somebody tries to... Oh. Well, call me surprised. Okay, is it the dangerous broken bridge way? Or is it this way? What do we think, folks? Yep, red light above door. We're going the stupid way. Groom. That is, uh... Slightly too far down, I think. Yeah, there's no way I'm running that. Jump. Nope. 
I'm pretty sure that would have just severely injured me, not killed me. Now, what's it going to pick up for last save? Oh, good. I like how it plays the You Died music slightly after you've died. Oh, oh, nope. Okay, that one would probably have killed you. Or at least broken your legs. I managed to do this first time um, when I botched the recording. Yep. Oh, oh, no. Okay, that, f <laughs> that felt deserved. I genuinely did do this first time last time. Quite embarrassed. Okay. Yep. Oh, 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 I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, God, this is worse than death. Just let me die. <laughs> uh, bridges. I'm sure there's some way of carefully calculating it, but I also find that just running headfirst into this problem solved it pretty well. Whoop. Whoop. Now? Phew. Right, bridge. What's that noise? Monroe, whatever you did, just open the second door in the main hall. Good. It also did something over here, I think. Ah, it summoned some baddies. There you are. We're having a tea break. Freaky monsters. At least you're not spiders. <laughs> okay, are we backtracking or are we going forward? Monsters, I'm going forward. The one behind me? You like doing that? Otherwise, why bother having a uh, compass? Hey, we're done here. That's good. There he goes. He's found something to kill. Bloodlust of chill. Come on, stand still while I kill you. Ooh, health pack. Don't mind if I do. Energy? Oh, I've emptied it. Right, we're going this way, folks. Yep, right, good. I'm just going to try and kill... Ooh! It's like a what? Brahmin that Zero melted. Mural. I it wonder is, if the Idril created it. We don't have enough data to say. I mean, it looks like Idril to me, a bit. Wouldn't, say, wouldn't look out of place in Morrowind, this. I quite like it. Can I scan it? Let's say I do. Anyway. We're here after people, right? That's still the plan. Find that missing archaeologist. Yes. Aha. Ammo. Ammo bomb. Right, what's going to pop up and kill me? Something in the roof? Infestation at chronic level. There we go. We need to deactivate their defenses. Monroe, I think I can disable that security system. I just have to reach Ow. the console. Yeah. You do you, and I'll shoot the things. I don't think I need that super powerful weapon. Yeah, this will do. Quick blast. And they just keep coming, don't they? There's too many of them, as everybody else likes to say. They've only just spawned. They're so bleeding impatient. Also, they're not very easy to see. Stop messing with it! Just shoot! Opening the bloody battery case every time I try and shoot. There's a one left. Keep those turrets off me while I work. What turret? Oh, that. The eyes in the back of your head. Makes no sense. Oh, I'm out of juice. And he's looking at his arm There's now. No Good. Way I can... oh, wait. Okay. Disable the defensive systems. I've located the scientists in an adjacent room. I've overridden the security protocols, so we should be able to reach them now. Well done, dude. That's what we keep you for. Doing tech and stuff. Is there anything else around here we can loot before I move on? Ooh, health. Have a top up. Why not? Ah, 
ammo, yes. And all of these consoles look exactly the same. They have very detailed, but it's just more or less the same picture over and over again. Pretty though. Can't interact with them in any way, shape or form. They just make a pfft, fart noise when you click them. Okay, what's through here then? Hello? You We're with the Federation. Don't appear to be dressed for the weather. The assistance. Yes. Chell, keep your eyes forward. Here for days. Thank you. That's I'm some Dr. Beard, Edgar. isn't it? This is Dr. Clea. I'm Lieutenant Monroe from the Starship. Don't look Enterprise. at me like that. She's and the one who's Chell, naked. Corban and Murphy. The Federation? Well, what are you doing out here? We came here to investigate an attack on one of our starships. Chell, eyes up. Chell! I hope no one was hurt. Very glowy Who eyes. attacked the station? The same aliens that invaded these ruins. Wait, these guys are the archaeologists? They're not aliens. They're exomorphs. We manufactured them. They're genetically modified beasts of burden. Beasts of burden? Try killing machines. Yeah, they're not exactly cows, are they? Not by design. We don't know why they became aggressive. Their behavioral regulators must have malfunctioned. When Clea deciphered this amazing machinery, we manufactured only the peaceful exomorph templates. Inigor, please. Crindor's still trapped in the lower level. Lieutenant Monroe, please save him. Quite so. Please what? save my son, if you can. I'm amazed you were able to make it this far. Yes, gliding over so many alien corpses was inconvenient. Yeah. <laughs> How many exomorphs can this factory create? Very good question. Since the facility automatically mines the planet's inorganic compounds... Then the planet can crank out its weight and killer aliens? What? Well, not quite its weight. More like the total mass of its carbon deposits plus... That would be billions. Yeah, Theoretically, I don't have enough ammo for that. a trillion if you account for the... Enough! Let's stop this murder world. Yeah, murder Stay world. That's protected. a term from. It's not a murder world. Is it prodigy? It's the glory of the Idril. It's. It's gonna kill your son if we don't get oh, going. Oh, lower decks. One of the oh, two. Oh yes, please go. Uh, can we address the elephant in the room, which is the fact that the archaeologist lady appears to be? I use the word dressed very loosely, but. Um. She's not dressed like an archaeologist I've ever seen. Are you lot all staying here and helping? Yeah? Okay, fine. Help all you like. <clears throat> Tell you keep an eye on them. I'm going. I'm leaving this palace of madness. Oh, I hear beasties. Get ready to shoot. There's one. Oh, he's just shooting through a rail. And the turrets are online again for no goddamn reason. Why are they so frickin' small? Just die! Oh, sorry, I'll use something else. Feck's sake. Okay, I'm gonna get closer and shoot it. There we go. My god, my aim is terrible. Ooh, exploding barrel. Completely missed that. Is this a door? Or a ladder? Ooh. Looks like a ladder. Weird. Ooh, little crawl space. Not sure if I saw this last time. Ooh, little ship! And a noise like the uh, Lego Star Wars games. Love it. Yeah. The game fooled me by thinking I had to go up a ladder. Clever. What's that noise? Hey! Are you napping? Ah, more of them. Good. You know, I'm not sure if this thing is attacking me or it just has some kind of awful version of acid reflux. I'm struggling to imagine what kind of task these things could accomplish besides slicing things to bits and burning them. But, you know, just go with it. 
it's like a whole thing. Something truly unsettling about these doors. Oh, this definitely doesn't look like an arena where an alien will burst out on me any moment. Ooh, oh, not health. Robot! Alien! Monster thing! He's got quite a large head. Yes, and he does use it to attack. Good. Is he, like, invulnerable when he's got that closed or what? Well, I guess we'll never know. Like an evil tadpole. Look at that face. And he's melting. Okay, good. Yeah. Kind of expecting to find a water ball that saw something in here, at least. Anyway. Hey. Is there anything left in this? Nope. Bridge control. It's a very elaborate bridge. That, that felt entirely unnecessary. I mean, what does it even do when it's not being a bridge? It's just a bridge between two platforms that go nowhere and, let me see, uh, nowhere. Whatever. You know, I saw that happening just before it happened. I think he is invulnerable when he's uh, charging like that. Ow. Well, I'm not so sure now. We went down without much of a fight. wonder what all that says. Maybe it's things like, do not switch on the murder machine and kill everything in the universe. That's what I'd write. Ah, hello. Dr. Crindo, I presume. Yeah. Oh, he's got yellow I'm eyes. With the Federation. Well, I'm glad you found me. The Exomorphs nearly took my arm off. You're lucky they didn't take your head off. <laughs> You're right. Looks like we made some mistakes. Explain. I think the behavioral regulators malfunctioned while I was modifying the jump jets. I'm sorry for... Save it. Show me where we shut down this murder world. Yeah. Come with me. Shut it down. Well, it will take some time. About six hours to discontinue the incubation process. You don't have six hours. It would be faster for me to repair the behavioral regulators. Maybe two hours. No, it's faster than that. What? A big gun. No! Very starfleet of you, Monroe. Hello. That being said, there were an awful lot of lives being lost because of this monstrosity. Well, that's the end of that mission. We're back in the Enterprise. We created our exomorphs to be builders, not killers. Look how quickly they restored the facility from ruins. I mean, they had giant razors for hands. But we proved the Idril acid. were a great empire, and we exposed a Trexian lies, and... You almost got oh, yourselves yeah. killed. That's the price of seeking truth. And the dead Atrexians, were they also your price? We can't undo the catastrophe, but we can atone for it. We have the ability to create a limitless workforce for both the Idril and the Atrexians. We cannot let you create new exomorphs. I can fix the behavioral regulators. They only malfunctioned because we had to work in secret. We don't know that for a fact. The Atrexians have suppressed our archaeological evidence to distort history, oppress our people, and control our planets. I have got That's the cards attention. Charge. See? I don't make that claim lightly. We found archaeological evidence on Vioc Theta 3, but the Atrexian government shut down our dig site and impounded all our artifacts. We were furious. Furious enough to kill? The truth is our only mm -hmm. weapon. The machinery in this facility will allow us to prove that the Atrexians took over ancient Idril colony worlds. Unless the Federation has destroyed all the evidence to help their Atrexian allies. How rude. We are not allies of the Atrexians. But you wish to be. You want them in your Federation of Planets. Enough. We are not hiding your findings. Besides the safety concerns, have you considered the rights of the Exomorphs? Rights? They are clearly not sentient beings. 
We'll make that determination in consultation with Starfleet Command. Until then, you're confined to quarters. I don't know. They seem like pretty thick killing machines to me. Wow, that guy looks miserable to be doing this job. Monroe, I'd like you to talk to Thea. I suspect she's the most likely to be cooperative. She's a naked one. Captain, should I assist Lieutenant Monroe? I think not. Monroe has an advantage here. Clea credits him with saving Crindo. Even if Crindo does not. Yeah, she stood around and did nothing, I noticed. She could have helped, but she didn't. So now it's my job. Talk with Clea. Oh dear. How best to broach this. Hey, Tuvok. How's Captain Indo going? Clea is in the guest quarters, Lieutenant. Right, where are the guest quarters? Oh, what up? What do you think, Telsia? I think they make a persuasive case. If we find that the Atrexians have been hiding evidence, they may have brought the attack on themselves. Interesting. Good point. Maybe we're backing the wrong side. We're sympathetic to the Atrexians after a brutal attack. I'm losing a that ship. That doesn't mean we have to believe everything they say. The Idril should be allowed to have peaceful access to their own technology. You may be right, but will the captain see it that way? I'll try to convince him. I'm sure the captain will weigh up all the evidence because he's seen this kind of crap over and over again. Wherever Hazard we go, crew quarters. it's never as straightforward as this, is it? It just never is. There's always some weird ulterior motive or years of behind the scenes fighting that suddenly comes out into the open when the Enterprise turns up. Hey, dude. Thanks for arranging my transfer. You're welcome. How's it going? Good. Right. Um, guest quarters. I'm guessing it's the one with a guard stood outside. That very miserable looking bloke from earlier. How you doing? You may enter. Cheers. Oh, it says guest quarters on it. Uh Clea is waiting inside. Yeah, I know. Hello, Clea. Ah. Are you busy? Would you like me to show you how to replicate like a bathrobe or something or adjust the heating? Inagor said your research held the key to activating the machinery. How so? My research explores the relationship between people and the machinery they develop. And the ways the machinery develops people in turn. So, why did you need to manufacture exomorphs? Couldn't you prove your theory without them? Of course. If Crindo hadn't activated those terrifying creatures, we could have completed our research by now. You didn't want to create exomorphs? It was breathtaking to see them come to life. But risky. When they turned on us, I was sure we were dead. What happened? They chased us from the lab. We were safe. But we had no way to communicate with Crindo or the scientists on the surface. I was terrified. And then you were there. Well, you're really hmm. laying it on Tell thick, me, aren't you? <laughs> what if your research shows that the Idril did not make the ruins? Then I will publish my findings proudly. Quite the dispassionate scientist. On the contrary, I'm quite passionate. <laughs> <laughs> tremendous beauty. Jesus Christ. Lush green jungles. Pink coral beaches and snowy mountains. It sounds appealing. The first time I saw Idril from space, I cried. I wish you could see my world. Now, try and put yourself in this woman's boots. She's an archaeologist. She's on a mission with her dad and her brother. Uh, things go a bit haywire, and then we rescue her. And then suddenly she goes completely head over heels in love with the first human being she has ever met. And then let's look at it from Monroe's perspective. He's been on Voyager for seven years with Telsia. They got split up by bureaucracy. Oh my god, her eyes are actually glowing and pulsating. That's weird. Sorry. And they finally get to work together again. And then this woman turns up. And I'm like, yeah... I'm sorry, I'm not doing a Captain Kirk with this. Bye. Perhaps another time. Well, maybe some other time then. No. Goodbye. Please study the ship's manuals on... Uh, I'd like to see you today. 
Specifically, what? <laughs> Look at the way she's walking. For God's sakes. Who stands like that in their own room? Hotel room. No, don't come this way. That's just so weird. I'm leaving. Yeah, you should check up on ship procedures and standards of the things specifically concerning what is considered appropriate wear. If there's an article on Loxwana Troy's wedding, read that. That's a good place to start. Hey, it's you. Sorry, I'm kind of busy here. Yeah, making the place look busy. That's what you're doing. Uh, tells you, tells you, tells you. Actually, no. When I tried recording this earlier, there was a bit of dialogue with that, um... What's it, lady? Botanist. I want to see how that story's developing. She's always doing something dangerous. I was on the holodeck observing the Andorian flora in their natural habitat. Here we go. How did you sustain this injury with the holodeck safety protocols in place? I overrode the holodeck safety protocols by running it in diagnostics mode. Well, that was Why bloody stupid, like wasn't it? Isn't Andorian flora carnivorous? Well, yes, but... Who gave you authorization to disable those safety protocols? No one did. I didn't think it would turn out this way. You realize you could have been eaten. I'm rescheduling the rest of my appointments today as you clearly need my counseling. But what about my plants in the hydroponics bay? I'll have someone take over your assignment for the next few days. I think you need some time to reflect on your actions. Yep, welcome to the game's B story. A botanist doing stupid things in the holodeck. Sounds pretty standard. Right, talk to Telsia. Well, let me guess. A, uh... Equally thinly veiled romance option story. Sorry. I'm bitter and old. And I've played Mass Effect like six times. <laughs> Hi, Telsia. Aren't the stars beautiful? That's a weird way to start a conversation. But if I don't click this, I don't get to find out what happens next. Jesus Christ, not as beautiful as you. Where the hell do you get these pickup lines from, man? As you. Oh, thank you, Monroe. You know, this is the first time we've had a chance to be alone. It'll probably be the last time until we've completed our mission. Good talking to you, Monroe. Oh, I think I made a balls up of that as well. She's Lieutenant not very Monroe forward. To the bridge. Yes, boss. I'm embarrassed and I'm leaving as quickly as possible. Could be our last night Deck together. One Jesus bridge. Christ, man. <sighs> we'll beam the prisoners to your ship. That won't be necessary. Just release them. I beg your pardon? The killing was not their fault. Those three scientists merely stumbled on advanced technology left by an extinct and long forgotten race. Hang on. Forgive my skepticism, but what makes you so sure the Idril did not build those ruins? Legends of Idril glory are fairy tales. We have extensive records of our first contact with the Idril, and they were a simple people. Then you won't mind us investigating their claims in the facility. We're going to destroy the facility before anyone else is hurt. I mean, it does need Commander destroying, and I kind of thought I'd already done site. that. Not but. to mention a breakthrough technology. I strongly recommend... It is our planet and our business. We appreciate your assistance, but you cannot dictate our policy. The facility is dangerous and must be destroyed. She's not wrong. Now please release our Idro prisoners. But it does sound like a cover-up. cannot cover detain up. them without our authorization. We can hold them for the attack on the Dallas. Yeah. That would be a mistake. Prosecuting them for being ignorant Idro would hand the Separatists a propaganda victory. Did you impound Inagor's artifacts from Vioc Theta 3? Inagor and his followers fabricated mock artifacts to look like Idro creations. If they're counterfeiters, why are they still free? Their punishment was exile from Vioc Theta 3 and the destruction of their counterfeit objects. Okay, you're if just you cultural vandals. If you destroy this facility, will you call it counterfeit as well? Captain, 
We are reading antimatter explosions on Vioc Epsilon 5. I think they're destroyed. You can release the Idril. Our dead now have justice. Destroying history is not justice. Goodbye, Captain Picard. Oh, you've you've angered him on a very deep go. level. He does not like that kind of nonsense. I, sir. Can I get one of them a coat? Because, you know, she's basically naked. No, she's still naked. Fine. Doctors, the Atrexian Council has released you. Hmm. What are they up to? Don't be so surprised. They can't stop destiny. Oh, I thought they were I'm giving surprised. us. We were giving them I'm one worried. of our shuttles. You always worry about nothing. You should cultivate the unwavering certainty of our ancestors. <clears throat> they were hardly unwavering. My research says they were. Then why did it take my research to activate the facility? Enough. <clears throat> thank you for your hospitality. Don't thank these barbarians. Barbarians? They destroyed our only proof. The hell are you th oh My wait, son. I did destroy something. This sector is Fair enough. with proof. Yes. The work awaits. Come, Clea. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok, I petitioned the Enterprise for permission to Don't stay say yes, don't say yes, don't say yes. I want to help the Federation study the exomorph bodies. Oh, for God's sake. It's sakes. my own small way of atoning for the death we caused. I forbid it. You do not control me. Captain Picard. Dr. Clea has requested permission to stay aboard the Enterprise and assist in the investigation of the exomorph bodies. Her skills could be quite useful. Could they? She's authorized to stay on board. I'm not so sure. Not allow her to stay, Picard. Dr. Clea, you will be assisting the research team. Welcome to the Enterprise. Thank you, Captain. Picard out. You'll regret this. Crindo, you are cleared to leave. I suggest you do so immediately. Get the F out of here. The hell am I looking at? Oh, that's the door. I always thought it opened up once like I'm here at press B. We have finished repairs to the warp drive on the USS Dallas. She's ready to head back to Starbase 12 for a refit. She's got like a scouting crew or something? Captain, we've received a distress call from a nearby Atrexian colony. The colony is in the Taravar system. We're going to protect the Atrexians. From what? That's what I intend to find out. Fair enough. Is that we far away? We have developed a new weapon. Ooh. We shall have time for a demonstration before we arrive. Come over to the armory as soon as you can. Sounds exciting. Hey, Captain's in his chair. What's up, boss? I am very busy, Lieutenant. Yes. I see that. Playing with an iPad. So, we're going on a rescue mission. I wonder what the weapon might be. Handheld Decade photon armory. grenade launcher. Some kind of really high-powered laser that slices people in half but takes ten minutes to recharge. Right, we're on, uh, is it Hazard Ops deck? Oh, you two are having a conversation? No, it seems. Hello again. Nothing, nothing. Oh, the brig should have nobody in it. Transport room. Hey, right, Joe, what are you doing? That's gel. Ever since the Borg transporter mishap, I have taken an active interest in studying transporter mechanics. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you don't want to get stuck on a Borg ship twice, do you? Ensign Chell here has been quite helpful, assisting me while I ran a diagnostics check on the transporter buffer. I mean, it's very reliable technology. It only blows up once in a while. Alright, I think that's the exit. Nope, that's the exit. This is where we need to go. 
I think. Nope. I'm hopelessly lost. Right, we are there. Now I want to go... E? Yes. Okay, what are these other rooms? Cargo bay. Huh. Don't think I can get in the cargo bay. Transport room. Rig. Mm. Not that. No access. Access denied. Yep. Still no way in. Good. Oh, sick bay. Anybody doing anything interesting? Having a stretch? Do you need medical attention? I do not. The doctor has cleared me for duty, Monroe. Even though you have a cough. Ooh, top up my shields. For some reason I have to do that here. How's my crew? Can't interact with you. Okay, fine. We're done here. What you got for me? I've made some improvements on the Federation issue grenade launcher. Hooray! I the holo program to test it. If you like it, then we can use it on the mission. Just what we need for a rescue mission. Grenade launcher. Uh, it looks all military and stuff as well. Right, I actually remember using this, and it's left click to fire, right click to detonate. I'll just detonate on impact. There you go. So if you miss and it bounces, you can blow it up. Ow! Oh my god, damn. Ow! Got him. You dead yet? Ah, oh, I thought I got him. Take that, Andorian. Is there one left? Ow. Oh, you can take a lot of splash damage. Oh. We're done here. Almost as good as a Klingon. Almost. I can't move. That's a somewhat disappointing loading screen. A weird looking place. Now entering the Taravar system. Shields up. Taravar 7 dead ahead. Take us in. Aye, sir. No ships in the area. Scanners detect exomorphs. They're swarming Taravar 7. Maintain a high orbit. Keep us outside the range of their propulsion systems. Aye, sir. Hail them. No response. The planetary defensive grid has been knocked offline. Superficial damage to their power converters. Monroe, assemble your team. I want you to restore that grid and... Captain! Multiple ships warping in. Three Idril ships. Interesting timing. Hail them. Greetings, Captain. We are here to provide assistance to the Atrexians. What's with the face mask? Assistance? Each of our ships you got the a illness. small security contingent. We would be honored to put them under your command to assist the Atrexians. They will take orders from Lieutenant Monroe. Of course, Captain. Monroe, prepare your team to beam down and keep an eye on the Idril. Yeah, I don't trust that guy one bit. Mission 6, Destruction, Brackets, Enterprise E. I'm sorry. We are ready to transport. It's very dramatic Lowering music shields for, for transport. A rescue mission. Suddenly we feel all together too vulnerable. Oh. Oh no! Shields are down! 
rascally idril. How dare you shoot the Enterprise. They look like the plasma weapons that the Romulans had in um, Balance of Terror, or the uh, last episode of... Oh wait, oh, spoiler alert. Oh my goodness. It's all going to hell. That's a bad noise. Barkley, what's happening? Shields up, Captain. <laughs> Wait, you were just Weapon in engineering. The three Idril ships hit us when we lowered shields. Yeah, I picked up on that. We are being hailed. On screen. You. Grindo. When we last met, you took away my most precious possession. Who, that girl? Now I take away yours. Prepare to be boarded. Lieutenant Monroe. Yes, sir. Report to the bridge. And bring me a rifle. Yeah, boy. <laughs> You'll die. What the transporters are down, along with the turbo lifts. I've got idle beam in signatures appearing all over the ship. I can't Draw hazard move. team members, emergency deploy. Fight off the idle invaders. You'll, You'll die. die. Bang. You requested assistance in the main cargo bay on deck eight. Hey, the shotgun's doing the business with these idiots. Not sure why they beamed into the brig, but whatever. Ah, ah, ah. Crap! They got sucked into space. You were, I was actually being pulled. Get over here, You'll die. Come on! I got a grenade launcher if you want to play with that instead. Ladders, ladders, ladders. Come on, up, up, up. Bane of every first person shooter. Good God. Why the hell doesn't the Enterprise have auto turrets? Come on, get your backlash out. Slice his head off. Is there one downstairs still? Yes, there is. Take that, jerk. Cargo bay one. System lockdown initialized. Oh, damn it, the doors assistance. are locked. No worries, mate. You uh, Security do breach what you were doing. Good God, my health Security is low. Breach There's a health thing. Monroe, if you're still on deck eight, I need help in sick bay. We're getting overrun. Gotcha. Unauthorized access in turbo lift eight A. Grenade launcher time. Stupid controls. Just don't mind me squeezing through a tiny um, Jeffrey's tube with a. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow! Oh. I'm glad I got that health pack to burn it all off straight away. With a handheld grenade launcher in hand. Yep. There we go. I swear the Jeffrey's tubes on the Enterprise D had better design. I hope that exploded in such a way that I'm able to progress. Nope. Yes. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I'm not going that way. Lieutenant Monroe, assist with the defense of this corridor. Got it. Hey, this thing can get behind their shields if I aim right. Right, you done being stupid? Yep. Well done, Lieutenant. Ooh, God. Reinforce Jarat's team in sick bay. Got it. <clears throat> Reinforcements going through. Tuvok sneaking up on me. Uh, red or white? Red or white? I'm gonna say white. I think I made a good decision. 
Hurry, Monroe. I don't know how long we can hold out. Stop Stop hey, we're in the armory. Yeah. Too Cover bad you me. didn't think to. Uh... Security breach on bridge deck. How am I stuck on the bloody furniture? Come on! Enter the bloody clipper grenades on you jerks! Thanks, Monroe. Right, health. That was close. Monroe, You're welcome, and I'm dying. On my way. You can get to engineering via this Jeffrey's tube access. I know. I watched First Contact. Just open the damn thing. I loved it when the Doctor uh, had to face off some Borg in that episode, that film. Would you like an analgesic cream? <laughs> Zip. Uh, this way, and this way, and this way, and let's go. Repel all borders. Oh, we have exploding Jack. barrels on the Enterprise. You know, if you crouch down, you'd be completely invulnerable. Just saying. There's no loot upstairs. <clears throat> you know what I always miss? That big two-pronged phaser rifle thing that Janeway has. I was expecting you'd get access to it in this game, or at least the previous game. I mean, there were lots of weapons, don't make me get me wrong. Oh god. Ah, that's not good. Um. Whoop. Whoop. Hey, dude. Warp core temperature outside the normal warp core levels. is overheating everyone out. Uh oh. Monroe, what? over here. What's up? I oh, know they're putting bombs on the um, cooling system for the warp core. That's very irresponsible and naughty. Got it. Get these jerks. Shoot them in the feet. I happen to know from experience that there are no health packs in here. Where are they? I'm not really bothered about the ones with guns, it's you jerks upstairs. I've lost half my health. Apparently I can accidentally blow up the ship as well. That's a thing. Right, where's the next wave of jerks? Right, I got the dangerous. Ah! Feck, I died! <laughs> The hazard team will go on without you. Yeah, I'm sure they will. I'm not just stand around in the cargo bay. Warp core temperature outside the normal levels. The warp core levels. is overheating everyone out. Monroe, over here. Hello. Yeah, we've done this. Monroe, repel the intro before the warp core goes critical. I really need to find a way to avoid getting shot. Not like that. Okay, I think I should take my time more with these fellas. Because they just stand still and get shot, that's fine. If I just wait for the gaps between them shooting. You're not the one I'm after. Where are they? They just t turn up at random, these blokes. Ow! Okay, I think I did quite well that time. Right, they're upstairs. Need somewhat precision shooting to take those fellas out. Hey, Bartley's well, got a rifle. Good. About bloody time. Ow! Is that all of them? Oh, 
Okay, threat eliminated. Let's get rid of the jerks who turned up with them. Oh, only one of you. Oh, we're going to set up like a transport inhibitor or something? Do some kind of sciencey thing to stop them turning up? Is there a panel I must press? How are we doing for ammo? Is there one left? Is the warp core stabilized? Not yet. Use your tricorder on the energy distribution panel to help me bleed energy away from the core. The what now? Oh, this. Oh, for feck's sake, you're kidding me, right, game? Huh. Bloody pipe puzzles. Now. Ah. This really takes the action out of the action part of the game. Right. What's going where? Warp core temperature approaching critical oh, levels. God. We're all going to die and it'll be my fault for not solving a pipe puzzle in enough time. We did it! Hooray! Whoa, I'm on the bridge. The captain's okay, but we're under attack. We need you. Then power up oh, the bridge God. turbo lift. I'm on it. Where's the bridge turbo lift? Where'd he go? You done it yet? Barkley, that was too close, Mario. Yes, it was. Right, bridge turbo lift. Oh, fine, I'll just go to any turbo lift and hope it's the right one. Nope. This way? Cargo bay, no, this is where we came from. Goes nowhere, does nothing. I should probably save. Yeah. Monroe, where are you? I'm coming, I'm coming. Bridge. I don't know my way around this ship yet. They won't let me down here. Bridge. Shotgun time. Thank you, Lieutenant. Watch out. Oh, there's no health in here. Ow, ow, ow. <clears throat> Feck's sake. Can I get past all these bloody chairs? No, I cannot. Where's me? Why do I not have the feckin' grenade launcher? That'd be ideal right now. We don't exactly keep ammunition behind the captain's chair. Ah, oh, the screen's broken as well. Oh, Picard's all right. Yeah, we done this bit. It's a good thing that bullets travel at about the speed of a balloon ejected from a cannon. Wait, doesn't my shotty, uh... Ow. How much health do I have? Not a lot, as it turns out. Is there any health back here? Yes! Sorry, Cap. Sorry I called you Cap. It's Sir, isn't it? The ones behind the shields are really annoying me now. Yeah, I got one. And they beamed another one in. Great. Impenetrable wall of chairs. Oh, caught all the bullets. Got one. And they replaced them. How many of these jerks are there going to be? Come on, just surrender. You're the last one. Well For God's sake. Is that every, everyone? Are we alright? 
Can I have my gun back? The invaders have been repelled. Hooray! I am initiating a dampening field to repulse any additional direct frequency transporter attacks. That's what I'm talking about. We are being hailed. On screen. I thought the screen was broken. It looks like your invasion did not go as well as you'd hoped. Your ship is crippled. Your weapons are non-functional. There's no way out, Picard. Let's discuss it. And give you time to repair your weapon systems? Do you take me for a fool? A very angry Turn man your at the ship over to me, Picard, and I'll offload you and your crew on the nearest hospitable planet. He doesn't I do that. Destroy this ship. Yeah. <laughs> You're bluffing. But in case you aren't. Captain, several small idril vessels have landed on our ventral hull. What? What are they doing? Warning. Unauthorized access detected. Oh, they're just going free. The idril are accessing our computer system directly from the hull. Self-destruct systems have been disabled. What? They are attempting to reroute command protocols and gain control of the Enterprise. Reverse ventral hull polarity. See if we can shake them loose. Negative. They have locked hull polarity in their area. Yeah. I have polarized the outer saucer ring, which will prevent them from progressing any further. But I have no way of removing the idril invaders. Looks like we're going Lieutenant for a walk. Monroe, report to the Enterprise hull and repel the idril invaders. Do not let them reroute the command protocols. Aye, sir. Roger that, boss. Well, job done. Well, not quite. Lieutenant Monroe, the Idril are accessing the ship's computer from multiple locations. It is imperative that you stop them before they accomplish their goal. In order to contain the invaders, I have reversed polarity on the outer area of the hull. Do not approach this area. Right. <clears throat> as thrilling, exciting and action-packed as this is, it's been slightly too long for an episode. If you have been, thank you for watching Star Trek Elite Force 2. My name is Wolverine. Tati bye and stay safe.